hope you're having an amazing day. Today I'm taking a look at this uh, black box my car. This is the 10 inch smart drive. This is able to handle your Android Auto and uh, Apple CarPlay as well. So here we get the 10 inch display. And at the back here we have the camera which we are able to adjust. So you can see left, right, and then we can like push it down and uh, up as well. At the top we have the power button. And uh, on the side we have the inputs here. We do have a Type-C for the power, which is very nice. And then the backup camera goes here, the micro SD card, the aux cable. Once you go ahead and turn on the unit, this is uh, what you're gonna be able to see. So we have Apple CarPlay. You can already see, like I already have connected uh, Android Auto and it's wirelessly connected, which is nice. And once the unit turns on, you don't really need to do anything. It auto connects uh, to Android Auto or your CarPlay. And uh, next here we have the DVR. So this is the dash camera. So right now it's uh, already recording. You don't really need to do anything. As long as the unit is on, it will start auto recording, which is nice. And then uh, we have a few things uh, done here so we can uh, go ahead and stop the recording uh, but I want to go ahead and show you the backup camera so if I click here so we can now see the front and back it's a little bit squeezed in uh, but if I go ahead and click again here and uh, right now it's showing the whole backup camera very very clear I'm definitely able to see everything here and the front as well looks very nice and clean and uh, one thing with the camera here I'm able to adjust it so it doesn't matter how you kind of place it on your dash here. You can go ahead and adjust it left, right, up and down a little bit there as well, which is good. So a few more options down here. So we're able like to go ahead and log the video and uh, take a snapshot here and then uh, play and mute here. And then from the DVR section here, we also have some uh, shortcuts so we can go ahead and click home. And uh, the second one is the brightness. So we're able to adjust the brightness here. And down here we have Bluetooth and Android Auto. So it does connect pretty quickly here, very responsive. Um, as you see here, it works pretty good. Let's go ahead and click home. Fourth option here is a playback. And the fifth menu here is the audio output. I'm able to switch the audio output to the speakers uh, on the device itself here. This also does have the FM option, but uh, it's kind of weird the way you have to set it up here. As you can see the instructions. And the last one, we have the aux here as well. So you're able to connect it. The cable does come in the box. And moving down to the other options here, we have Apple AirPlay, Android Cast, Bluetooth Music, and Wi-Fi Video. Under settings here, we have the recording resolution. So you're able to set the 720 to 720, so the front is gonna be 720, the backup camera is gonna be 720, 1080p to 1080p, and then 2.5K to 720. That's the way I have set it up right now, because I want the front one to capture better footage, and then the backup camera, that's uh, gonna be at 720. I wish it was like a 2.5 to 1080p, that would have been great, but uh, that's what you get here. And the uh, split time, you have a uh, one minute, three minute, five minute, microphone settings and uh, reminder tone, image mirroring and auto dimming. This is actually a great option, especially for nighttime because right now it's very bright, so it's gonna auto dim. And driving position, you're able to set it left and right. Uh, reverse line calibration. So this is another great one. So these are all the settings that you're getting here. One great use for this device is, especially if you have a cube van or anything without a mirror, so you're able to go ahead and install that backup camera and use it as a mirror, which is a great add-on. Uh, the only thing is uh, on the 2.5K, you're able to set up the front camera, but the backup camera becomes at uh, 720p, which is kind of a downside there. Really hope you found this uh, video helpful. If you have any questions about this thing, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer it. I'll see you on the next video.